Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that there are nine employees in a company and they can be named as A to I. Uh, Abhishek had to communicate an information to the other employees, but not all employees were present in the office together. The information was passed on to each employee only once and each employee passed on the information to exactly one other employee except Teklavi who was the last person to receive the information. So that means we have a chain, right? So Abhishek starts this and Eklavi receives this information. So it is like from one employee to another, okay? The table uh, shows who were present along with whom in the office that day. For example, Chitra met Bandhan, Gaurav and Himanshi on that day. So Chitra, Bandhan, Gaurav and Himanshi. So why it denotes that? Yes, they were present together. Okay. So uh, the names are marked with their initial letters. So A means Abhishek, Bandhan, Chitra, etc. So we need to find out that how did they pass the information. Okay. All right. Now how to crack this thing is now uh, A is present. So either A will pass on the information to D or G because A is connected to these two people. Okay. Now, uh, so we will take cases like this. Similarly, if you see other connections where C for Bandhan, we cannot determine because Bandhan is connected to too many people. So we cannot tell that who he passed on the information to. But for A, uh, we can say that either AD or AG. Okay, so let us make case only. So let us write AD. One case, let us make AD. Another case, let us make AG. Okay, because A can transfer to either D or G. Now we will build a chain. So we have done for A. So uh, D is connected to whom? D is connected to A we have filled. It can be B, E, G, Y. Okay, it cannot be connected to G. Or it can be maybe, uh, no. All right. So now let us see other things where there, there are just two connections. Like for example, F is connected to only two people. Why we are starting with this? Because it is easy to make cases. F is connected to only two people, B or I. Okay. So that means uh, like F either received information from B and transferred to I. So we can have F receiving information from B and transferring to I or we can have F receiving information from I and transferring to B. So we have two possibilities. Okay, F has to be in between these two. F is not the first person to start. Okay, so uh, this is some an intermediate link. Okay, maybe this is not uh, compatible with it. So we'll light it later. Right, so let's, we know that these are the endpoints. Either we will have this or this. So F is connected to these two people. Now that means that in either case, we know the connection of uh, Bandhan, right? So we know that Bandhan cannot be connected with anyone else. So it is connected with F on one side. Now let us find out that how can, uh, how can others be connected? Like uh, if you look at I, so I cannot be connected to uh, B because I is already B is connected to F. So I and B cannot be connected. So I is connected to F on one side that we have already seen and I is connected to D on the other side. Okay. So uh, I is connected to D on the other side. That means in this case D will come here and in this case D will come here. Now we know that A is connected to D or G. So this case will be the one where A is connected to D. And this is the case where A is connected to G. Okay. All right. So we have found the connection of I also. Now, if you talk about the connection of D, D is connected to A on one side. Okay. And then it is connected to I also. So in this case, D is connected to both the points. Okay. Now, uh, D can be connected with G, uh, E or B. Uh, D cannot be connected with B. In this case, if we see D cannot be connected with B. In this case, we have made the connection. Okay, we have to look for this case, first case. D cannot be connected with B in this first case because D is this side, B is this side. Okay, D can be connected to either G or E. 
Now D cannot be connected to G also because G is connected to A and D is far off. So not with G. So D will be connected to E. So this is D and E. Okay. Uh, so this is also done. Now we have uh, we have already placed one, two, three, four, four points. So we need to put uh, three more points, intermediate points in between. Okay. So let us find out similar. Now H is connected to only two people, B and C. Okay. So uh, if you say B and C, in this case, H can be connected to B like this and C like this. And in this case, H will be connected to B and C like this. Okay, all right. Then if we look at C, C is connected to B. C can connect to do B, but not possible because we see that there is gap. So C is connected to G and H. So in this case, it is connected to H and G. And in this case, C, G. Okay, I think we are done with the all the people. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we will get two possible cases right so this is how we connect right we started with the extremes wherein uh, only two connections were given so we know that these are the links of the chain similarly for, for h also we could connect only two connections and then logically building the links we have got two possible cases all right now let us see the questions who was the fourth person to receive the information if we see this case first second third fourth in this case it is uh, Bandhan and in this case also if we see Bandhan is the fourth person irrespective of the case. So that is the answer. If Chitra was the sixth person to receive the information, who was the second? Now Chitra is the sixth person. So that means we will consider this case and who is the second person in that case? In this second case, person is uh, Ikshit. Chitra is the sixth one, fourth, fifth and sixth. Which of these pairs of persons definitely passed on information between them? Gaurav Diksha. No, Gaurav and Diksha are not connected. Chitra and Himanshi. So if we see that Chitra and Himanshi are connected to each other. So that must be the answer. Diksha and Bandhan no connect. And also Ikshit and Bandhan also no connect. All right. Last question says, if Himanshi received the information before Diksha, which of the following is true? Uh, Himanshi has received information before Diksha. That means we will consider this case in this question. And it says that which of the following is true. Ikshit was the first person to receive the information. That is false. The fifth person to receive the information was Diksha. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. No, that is also incorrect. Bandhan passed the information to Faguni. So this is the uh, right answer. And uh, of course that last Gaurav received from Chitra is incorrect. So that is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.